Computer vision, machine learning, and artificial intelligence have revolutionized every discipline that deals with images. Everyone except art. Join us as we hear from Dr. David G. Stork, adjunct professor at Stanford University. Art is so rich with a variety of images and problems, and they're so valuable, not just financially, but also culturally. In the last few years, some of us have been using AI and machine learning to address problems in art history, and we're solving problems that couldn't have been solved without computer techniques. And we're posing problems to AI that really aren't being addressed by mainstream AI. In the year 2000, there was a very controversial theory put forth by David Hockney, a very famous artist, that Renaissance painters secretly used optical devices. And I was asked to lend technical analysis on this claim. It led to the development of a wide number of interesting algorithms, many taken from the analysis of photographs, but tailored to work on art for analyzing lighting and perspective and optics and brush strokes and a whole host of techniques. And AI have shown that theory to be completely debunked. And Hockney himself now agrees. And bit by bit, the art scholars have been coming to me saying, I didn't know you could do that. Authentication of art is a tremendously difficult problem, knowing whether Rembrandt painted this or not. You look at the brushstrokes, you look at the materials, you look at the iconography, what kinds of objects are in there, the, the condition of the work, and putting all this together. And either it's worth $10,000 or $100 million. And AI is helping us to make these kinds of decisions. My work doesn't just aid the artists. I think it's identifying a whole set of problems that mainstream AI is not addressing. Things like inferring an artist's intention. What does artwork mean? Mainstream AI has great difficulty inferring these deeper artistic meanings in artworks. That's because traditional AI trains its deep networks and so forth on hundreds of millions of photographs taken from the web and their associated text. And that will be things like my lunch or my dog or my child playing on a swing, not the analyses that are deeper inferring deeper meanings going behind just the surface description of the scene. But it's that deeper meaning that is really the essence of art. So we've been working on Dutch Golden Age paintings called Vanitas genre, which will show a skull and maybe a candle with its flame out and a book and so forth. And this conveys the meaning that you should not be concerned with the pleasures of this life. Instead, you should leave a humble, sober life for the eternal life to come. Can we get a computer to figure that out? We've made preliminary steps that show that yes, you can. Learn more in Computer Vision, ML, and AI in the Study of Fine Art, a research article in the May 2024 Communications of the ACM.